Disclaimer. I am not a mechanic, AMP, AMT, AME. I am not a CFI, CFII. I think you get the point. If you have any questions, concerns, or etc., seek the advice of experts. I am a private pilot who owns a plane and is trying to give back to the aviation community by sharing my own experience in aircraft ownership. Please refer to your aircraft's POH as every aircraft is different. And remember, we're all in this together, so be safe out there. Hi guys, this is Catherine with the Thrifty Pilot. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite things, flying with animals. Um, so fortunately I've been a veterinary technician for the last 11 years, so I wanted to give you guys some of the tips. Um, the first thing that I recommend if you're fortunate enough to have a plane like ours with a large cargo hold that goes right over to the back seat, it's a great area to store larger dogs. Um, we personally have two uh, 80 plus pound dogs who fit comfortably in the back of our 1978 Piper. Um, I recommend first starting with puppy pads. You can get these anywhere. Um, they're a good uh, barrier with the plastic on the side. Um, we find that putting a layer down of these works really well just to protect your carpet um, and any other interior. After that, we recommend getting a large plastic tarp. We learned this the hard way due to some motion sickness. This is great because if there is some type of accident and or spill, you can just uh, hose it off when you get to your destination. Um, I recommend putting this in. And then you can actually take it and hang it over to the back seat area so that not only is it covering your floor area, but also covering the back seat and upholstery. Um, we just switch out everything and rinse it off every time uh, so that it's clean and good to go. If some of you guys have dogs like ours that are a little nervous with air travel, uh, we recommend talking to your veterinarian to see if you can get any type of medication to help make it a little bit easier uh, for them. Common ones are going to be things like uh, Ativan, Valium, Trazodone, Xanax. Of course, talk to your vet about what could work for your dog um, to make their safety and comfort a little bit better. Thank you. Um, just a reminder, it's really important when you're flying with animals to ensure that you account for that in all of your calculations. Um, you want to ensure that your weight and balance are in check um, in addition to your POH. It's really important to make sure um, that you account for that when you're accounting for passengers and luggage. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great day.